Unfortunately, unlike Safari on macOS, where you can change your homepage very easily by clicking on preferences and adding your new homepage here, I don't think Apple has an option to do the same thing on iOS. There certainly doesn't appear to be a similar setting in Safari settings. A workaround could be to navigate to the website you want for your homepage, say Google for instance, click on the share icon and choose add to home screen. This creates a link that will take you directly to Google in the Safari app. Alternatively, you can customize Safari's homepage by scrolling to the bottom of the page and clicking on edit. Here you can decide what you want to see on the start screen. For instance, if you're not interested in the privacy report, you can choose to remove it. And if you prefer to have your iCloud tabs higher up the page, you can click and drag to reorder your list. You can also choose a different background for your home page by enabling background images. Click on the plus button to add one of your own photos, but I'll opt to use this one provided by Apple. If you don't like the address bar being at the bottom of the page, you can change it back at any time by clicking on the font size icon and choosing show top address bar. Then as before in iOS 14 to access the home page, just click on the tab icon followed by the plus button. You can then customize your homepage in the same way we just did by scrolling down and clicking on edit. So that is how to customize the Safari homepage. If you're interested in learning more about all the new features in Safari on iOS 15, I have a video that covers absolutely everything, which I'll link to below. If you'd like to know how you can block ads in Safari, then I recommend watching this. You gotta admit that this is much better than this. And wouldn't it be nice to get rid of this with a few simple clicks? There we go, that's better. To get rid of ads in Safari on your iPhone and iPad, all you need to do is install an ad blocker or what iOS refers to as content blockers. There are a few to choose from, but my favorite is AdGuard. Once downloaded and installed, skip through the introduction by clicking next until you get to this screen which describes how to enable AdGuard's content blockers in Safari settings. Switch over to the settings app and scroll down to Safari. Now we have an additional option called content blockers where we can enable all of AdGuard's features. Once enabled, we can switch back to AdGuard and go through the other settings. You'll get prompted to subscribe to AdGuard Premium, which offers a few extra features such as DNS protection and blocking phishing scams, but the ad blocking component is completely free. So you can choose to ignore this page by clicking on the X in the corner here. If we click on the shield icon in the menu, you can see that we have the Safari ad blocker enabled and AdGuard also has a neat feature for blocking YouTube ads, which I made a video about a few weeks back if you're interested in learning about that. The next menu option provides activity stats, which is a premium feature. So we'll skip this page and move on to settings. Here you have general appearance settings where you can switch to dark mode and set data download options. But back on the main menu, click into Safari protection. Here you have the option to block other web features such as social media widgets and what AdGuard refers to as annoyances which include things like cookie notifications, subscription pop-up boxes, and messages asking you to turn off ad blockers. You can enable AdGuard's annoyance filter, but you also have the option to enable customized filters created by other AdGuard users. If we head back to the Safari protection screen, you can create your own customized filters by clicking on user rules. There's a whole wiki page explaining how to create these rules and the syntax to use. Finally, if there are websites you feel are worthy of receiving ad-based revenue, then you can add them to the whitelist here, which means you'll continue to see ads on these pages. Simply click on add domain and enter the website domain such as theverge.com. You can also do the same thing directly in Safari by clicking on the font icon and clicking turn off content blockers, which will allow ads on the site you're currently viewing. So that is how to set up AdGuard to block ads in Safari. There is, however, a much easier way to block ads, and that is simply to install the Brave browser. Straight out of the box, Brave will block ads, trackers, and all other nasties without the need to change or configure any settings. 
Visit the website for lots more tips on iOS and all your favorite apps. And if you found this video useful, I'd appreciate you giving me a like and hit subscribe for lots more videos like this one. Until next time, thank you very much for watching.